Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Pisces love prediction reading for August 19th through August 25th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and so grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on. With my lovable, fun, compassionate, kind, sweet, caring, Pisces. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on my Pisces? Let's see, Pisces, what you got going on? Show me spirit, guys. Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, you need to say yes. You need to say, yes, this is someone here that loves you. Someone has wanted to propose to you. He has, I think, already proposed to you. And you're trying to figure out if, you see, if you're going to stay with him or if you're going to, say, or if you're going to move on. Because there's that six of swords there. Um, here, here's your problem right now. And I'll tell you as we move forward in this reading. But the Knight of Cups, this man is good to you. This man is like no other that you've ever had. And that's the problem. You know, sometimes, and I think I've read something like this for you before. Sometimes when we get someone good, We've had so much bad, we don't understand what the universe has brought us. He's the real deal. He's the truth. He has everything here. He's a good guy. He's charming. He's, he's, he's gorgeous as well. He's gorgeous. I mean, he's a good man. He has a good heart. He's your counterpart. He wants to marry you. He's giving you a proposal, and I'll say that again. I do believe this is a proposal. Ace of Swords is right here, um, which is clarity. Clarity, clearness. Knowing the truth. He is the truth. He is the truth. But like I said, sometimes we get caught up because we've had so much riffraff in the past that we get caught up. And this is what's happening right now. Because here, the Nine of Cups is here. The Nine of Cups means that's in the middle of this five card spread read that I'm doing. And that means that, look, that Nine of Cups means he checks your boxes. Your box of compassion, your box of love. He's got money. He, I mean, he checks your boxes. You are content and satisfied with him. But that one cup is miss, missing, which is that, which is the cup that he wants to give you now. The cup that he wants to give you now with this Knight of Cups, and that's the tenth cup, which is marriage. He's ready to make a commitment with you and only you. He's ready for children. He's ready to. to he's ready for it all. But somehow you here you are with the Six of Swords here. And the Six of Swords is not a bad card either. It means moving from chaos to calmness, to calmness. But see, what concerns me with seeing the Six of Swords is next to the Queen of Swords. Here you are having demands, making demands. And, and the demands that you're making is just, the problem is, is that you keep looking at the past. Let me say it. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords can be, I want everything my way. Um, if I don't get everything my way, then I'm moving on. But see, that's not how a, a relationship works on um, Pisces, and you know that. And I think you're just putting up a guard. You're, you're, you're just causing problems because you're insecure right now because actually you're just kind of afraid because you're not quite sure. You've been through so much. You've been so, through so much people hurting you, people walking on you. And here walks in, here comes this man that wants to love on you the right way. And here you are putting up guards, causing chaos, you know, all of that because you're looking at the past. Rather than the future. Queen of Swords, she tends to look at the past. She tends to, you know, she um, she's uh, she can be called sometimes a, a itch. You know what I'm saying? Put the put the other word, the other letter in front of it. She can be called an itch because it's always it's about her. It's about her. And here's the deal. You've got somebody that wants to love on you. Someone wants to treat you right. Someone that even wants to marry you. And here you are putting up barriers, putting up, putting your guard up, causing issues because you're looking at it from a past rather than the future. 
Don't let your past destroy your future. This is your God. He is here for you. Do not let your past destroy your future. Now, let's see. Give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. Whomever I'm reading for, what additional information do the spirit guides want you to know? Why is this Knight of Cups here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Show me spirit guides. Ten of Pentacles. You have struck gold. Ten of Pentacles. He's ready. He wants legacy. Ten of Pentacles is legacy. Family. He's ready and he wants it to be with you. Absolutely. Look at that. Look at that man, that gorgeous man that wants to be with you. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. Say yes. Just say yes. So let's see. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Show me spirit, guys. Show me. Sit back, relax. Let me see. Why is this Ace of Swords here for my Pisces? Show me spirit, guys. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, he's on a mission. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles is someone that's on a mission. It's a very slow-moving energy. But the Knight of Pentacles is like, it's, you know, it's like that person you just are not going to get rid of. And, you know, he, he's on a mission. His mission is to get you. His mission is to, it, he's on a mission to be with you. He's on a mission to marry you. He wants to be with you. He's on a mission. That Knight of Pentacles, he's on a mission to be with you. Yes, he's on a mission to be with you. He has a goal. You are his goal. You are his goal to, you know, he wants to build family and legacy with you. So let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. Why is the Nine of Cups in the middle of the reading? Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Nine of Cups in the middle of the reading? Three of Wands. Yeah, Three of Wands is in the future, honey. The Three of Wands is looking toward the future. All this mess that you, you know, dealing with from the past, let it go. Let it go, because this is your future. Nine of Cups, and that means you're going to be satisfied, content. All you have to do is say yes. All you have to do, not only just say yes, but release the energy from the past so you can accept this gift that the universe is giving you. He's the truth. He's, he's, you've got clarity. He, you, he wants you. I mean, there is, I, I don't even know how much clearer this can be. So let's see why the Six of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Swords here? Show me. I told you, there's the Hierophant. The Hierophant can represent a Taurus sun sign, but this is marriage. This is commitment. This is com this is you. It's over the Six of Swords because you know what? You know what you're doing? <laughs> don't mess. Stop. Just don't. The Hierophant, he wants commitment and marriage with you. Don't let your past destroy your future. Don't let your past destroy your future. The Hierophant, he wants commitment. Here you are with the Six of Swords. Even though the Six of Swords is chaos moving to calmness, that's what he brings to you. But also you're thinking about, because Swords energy is, um, is energy, is, is mental energy. And I think that you're thinking about walking away. I think you're talking, thinking about running away from this. And, it, and it's not, it's, it's not that you don't love him. It's not, it, it's that you're afraid. You're just simply afraid. That's all. Let it go. Let the past go and enjoy the future. So let's see why the Queen of Swords is here. Show me why the Queen of Swords is Why are you putting up the berries? Why are you putting up the walls? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the Queen of Swords here for my Pisces? Huh. Two of Swords. Indecisive. You're being indecisive. You got all this love. You got all this love and yet you're being indecisive about marrying him. You're indecisive about marrying him. That Queen of Swords. That Queen of Swords. You know, Queen of Swords, like I said, can be bitter, Betty, bitter, you know, Veronica, whatever you want to call her. She can be a straight up itch. She wants things her way. Yes or no. No gray matter in between. No compromise. Mm -hmm. Well, get it together. Get it together because this is nothing but fear. False evidence of, 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 of things looking real. This is nothing but fear. False evidence appearing real. There is not this man is out is for you. And you're about to mess it up because you're being bitter Betty. And, and not so you're just putting your wall up. You're, you're causing problems for no reason at all. You're being indecisive. There is no reason. I see nothing in this read that you would do this to this man and to your life. 
Get it together. Get it together. Give me. Let's look at the beginning. Knight of Cups. Someone wants to marry you. He's, he's offering you his hand and proposal. He wants to marry you. He's a gorgeous man. He wants to build a legacy. Well, look at this. Money. Legacy. He's got the paper. He's ready. He's just looking for the bride. He's just looking for the wifey. Um, Ace of Swords. He's very clear about what he wants. Because it's over the Knight of Pentacles. You see, the Ace of Swords is clarity. And there's a Knight of Pentacles. He is determined. He is on a goal. He is on a mission. He wants a wifey and he wants the wife to be you. Nine of Cups is here. He, he checks your boxes. All of these boxes he checked except for one that you have not allowed him to give you, which is, which is marriage. But he checks your boxes. He's got everything. He's got the money. He's got the love. He's got the compassion. He's got the understanding. He's rational. He's got everything. But sit, look at this three of wands. Man, uh, come on, Pisces. I can't say anything else. Just accept. Just accept, Pisces. Then there's the six of swords there, and that's calm in the middle of chaos. After all the chaos you've been through is calmness. Hierophant, he wants to be married. He wants to be married. Hierophant is my marriage card. It represents a Taurus sun sign as well. He's committed to you. And then you have the Queen of Swords here. Here you are putting up your walls, causing issues, because guess what? It's just fear. You're just fearful. You're letting your past destroy your future. Do not let that happen. Say yes. You're indecisive because of that. You're all, source energy is mental energy. Don't be like that. Accept this gift from the universe. Yeah, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. Accept the gift from the universe. Say yes, because he's deaf, he's ready. Say yes. And you won't look back. Stop looking back. Look forward. See, the three of wands is looking forward. Stop looking back. Don't look back. Look forward. Okay. So let's see. What do my oracles have to say? Show me what my oracles have to say about this relationship. Ooh. Huh. I'm telling you. The, look, at, or, ooh, look at my oracles. Look at what the oracles are saying. They're saying, yes. Yes, Pisces. Yes, again, Pisces. Success. They're saying trust. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Look what's coming. Abundance. Yeah. I don't even know what else to say to you about this. I really don't. Um, uh, meditation brings answers, which is my favorite card. Pray, meditate, whatever you do to get the answer. But yes, yeah, stop being indecisive. Accept this man's marriage proposal. A year from now, a year from now, you'll be happily married if you accept. Um, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's absolutely up to you. It's absolutely up to you. And I also, I just think, huh, well, I'm going to pull these last two cards because it says a peaceful resolution and big happy changes. Congratulations, Pisces. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.